Whether you're a first time cruiser or an experienced cruiser, these cruise accessories really can be game changing. And in particular, I have some new items that I can't wait to share with you. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I realized it had been over a year since I shared like the top, the best selling Amazon cruise accessories with you. And honestly, a lot of things have changed. Well, firstly, we are out of, I guess, those COVID times. And so some of those products that I would have recommended back then just aren't as relevant. And honestly, I don't even bring them anymore. And other things, well, that I tried at the time, I've now had about a year to be able to work with them and realize how good they are. Plus, I also have some new products that I've recently found that I cannot wait to share with you. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, I wanted to start off with the over the door organizer because the over the door organizer, honestly, has been a favorite for years and years and probably is one of the very best cruise hacks. Basically, what you do is you take the over the door organizer and you can fill those pouches with different items that you would need in your cruise cabin. Now, in particular, I really do find this very handy for people that have children because let's face it, the storage in a cabin, well, there really isn't that much and it just makes everything very handy, very accessible and the kids could even take those items out on their own. Now, personally, I really like this mesh one because nothing gets sticky when it's in the mesh in comparison to a plastic one and it really is easy to keep clean. And just a little sort of tip or hack, if you happen to be on a cruise line where they don't want you to hang the over the door organizer over the bathroom door, that is the case on Disney, then what you can actually do is use magnet hooks and you can hang that from the ceiling in the cabin. Number two, the hanging toiletry bag. Now I recently came back from a cruise, so I actually still have it filled up with items. And this is just, I think one of the very best inventions. And basically you can just sort of hang it up right on your door or even again, use your magnet hooks. That is what I did on my last cruise. I just hung it on a couple of magnet hooks and I could keep it in the bathroom and then keep the other hooks free for like the bathrobes and that kind of thing. Number three, magnet hooks. Now, really, I think that these are the very best cruise accessory ever. And basically you can see these are pretty strong. I think these are 50 pound ones. So the more heavy duty that you go, the better they're actually going to work. You don't want to go too heavy like the ones that are 100 pounds because they can be really hard to take apart. But these 50 pound ones are pretty easy. And sometimes what you can do is you can actually put two together. If you have a heavier item, like my toiletry bag was pretty heavy with all the items in it. So you can actually put two together to hang up a backpack or a toiletry bag on the wall. Now, just a little tip. You may have heard that some cabin walls are not metal. From what I understand, some of the cabin walls that are not metal include some of the older carnival ships. So I did find an alternative. I tried it out on my last cruise, even though I had metal walls, but I tried command hooks. These are, I think, 20 pound command hooks. And these did work to be able to hold up like at least lanyards. And I think I tried like even a jacket. So this is a good alternative. And just to mention all of the items that I am mentioning in this video, I will leave them linked below in the description of this video. Now, I also like to bring some magnet clips. Those are really handy to put your shore excursion tickets, your daily planner, any of the different paperwork that you have to keep that off the desk or the vanity area and to make your cabin more clutter free. Now, another handy cruise essential that is just very, very popular is the cruise lanyard. Now, by the way, if you think you're not a lanyard person, I do have a new alternative to share with you in just a minute. But the lanyard, basically you would keep your cruise card in it. You could wear it around your neck if you want to, but otherwise you can put it into your pocket. You could put it into your tote bag or your beach bag. But in this way, you'll just never lose your cruise card because you do need to have this with you to open up your cruise cabin door, but as well to even pay for the different items around the cruise ship. So you really do want to have it somewhere very handy. Okay, so I'm so excited to share this new cruise accessory. There's only a couple of new cruise accessories that come out every few months. This is one of the very best ones that I've ever seen. I did buy it about a month ago. I wanted to try it out to see the quality of it before I talked about it 
on this channel. It is very good. And basically it's a nice alternative to the cruise lanyard. So what you would do is you'd take this cruise card holder and you'd put it on the back of your cell phone or on the back of your cell phone case. And this way, what you can do instead of using a cruise lanyard is you can have your card well, right here in this holder. And just to show you, this is actually, well, it's adhesive. So I'll just show you, it just has this adhesive right here. So you can actually use it and then you can, well, cover it up again at the end of the cruise if you want, and then you can actually reuse it. Now, if you are interested in checking that out or any of the other items, I am gonna leave them all linked down in the description below this video. Now, just something to mention is to be able to look into the description box of the video. I know sometimes people say they're not sure how to do this. Well, basically what you need to do is below the title, if you're on a computer or on an iPad, you have to click on where it says read more or see more, and you're going to be able to see a way to open up that description box. Now, if you're viewing this video on a mobile phone, what you will do is on the right side of your title, you'll see a little upside down V. It basically looks like a little arrow down, if you will, and if you tap that, then what will happen is it will open up the description box where you will see all the links to this video. And that can work for you for any videos that you do see on YouTube. Now, even though cruise ship cabins are changing and cruise ships are actually putting in sometimes USBs in their cruise cabins. So if you are sailing on one of the newest cruise ships, you will probably have that most basically older cruise ships, like even anything older than like three years, probably just doesn't have enough outlets in the cabin. So you can expect one or two outlets. And the other thing that we found, we were just on the Norwegian Joy recently, was we did actually have USB outlets that were right next to the bed. However, for some reason, they just really weren't very powerful and they hardly charged our items. They just weren't very quick. So we really did need to use like the main power area, which was in the desk area of our cruise. So what we did is, of course, we brought our non-surge protected power bar. I will leave one that is highly recommended down below in the description of the video. A cruise carry-on bag. Now I've mentioned other carry-on bags on my channel and really I think those are good as well. But this nautical stripe carry-on bag is still really my favorite. I used it on my last cruise. And as a matter of fact, it was my mother's birthday and we just gifted her this bag because we thought it would be nice for her to travel with. So it just remains one of my favorites. And personally on my channel, this really is one of the most purchased items from my Amazon shop. Now I really wanted to show you the very best items that are available. So these are the cruise luggage tags that I use and I have them in a couple of the different sizes. So some of the cruise lines have like the long luggage tags and other cruise lines have the wide luggage tags. Realistically, you could just fold them in a different way and still use either size. So I don't think that's a big deal. But what is, is actually the way the luggage tag is made, even though they're all basically about the same price. But these, what I really like is they do have these sort of metal uh, ties. They are really, really solid. I've been using them for years. And they also have this metal grommet. Now, the reason that I say this is important is because I actually did have some old ones. The first set that I bought um, was actually plastic and it didn't have any reinforcement here and it only had like the plastic tie like this and that actually broke on us. So these I just realized are just a better quality. So I did want to let you know. Now, something I think a lot of people just don't think about, but once you use it, you realize how handy it is. It is the motion sensor nightlight. Now, the way the motion sensor nightlight works is that you can actually put it like onto the wall because it's actually magnetic and you can put it onto the ceiling as well. And you can point it towards the door if you like, or point it towards the bed if you like, whatever you like. But basically the idea is that as soon as you move and you step onto the floor or you start walking towards the bathroom, it'll basically light up that space. So you could even put it right in front of the bathroom, but basically this way that you don't like trip over that little ledge as you go into the bathroom because nobody wants to stub their toe. Now, something else that we've used on our cruises and we just find it so convenient because you know how in hotel rooms, oftentimes you do have like that clock radio that's there or uh, something that even charges the phone, sometimes like a clock that's also a charger, but you just don't have that in cruise cabins. I'm really not sure why. So we bring like this simple battery operated 
um, alarm clock but basically this is just really handy so that we can always see the time especially because oftentimes when you're on a cruise they will actually ask you to change uh, the time over like by one hour if you are going into a different time zone and as well so this way when we do need an alarm in the morning time that we have a little bit of a backup for our cell phone or we might even use this instead of our cell phone and packing cubes now i'm not going to go into detail about why packing cubes are so handy but if you've thought about packing cubes you will not regret it get packing cubes to be organized for your next cruise now by the way if you are interested in a list of cruise essentials or in cruise packing lists i have all of that included in the ultimate cruise planner the ultimate cruise planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that will help you to organize your cruise from the time that you book your cruise all the way through disembarkation it includes embarkation forms cruise essential lists packing forms and more i will include all of the information linked below in the description of this video in case you do want to check that out now something that we've been using for every cruise now since the restart is this passport holder i really like it well first of all it is rfid protected so of course that's very good but it is really roomy it has room for everybody's passport i also have room for my cards if i want to keep that there it has room for keys it has a zippered pouch so i actually ended up keeping like i had some extra money on me because we had a couple of currencies for our last cruise i was able to keep that extra money in that pouch and documents of course as well but then what i could do is i could just kind of keep it on well on my wrist so it was just really close to me i never had my passports go out of my sight especially if you're flying or you're at the embarkation port this is something really handy okay so i have a little bit of a bonus because this is not really a cruise accessory but it is a raincoat it actually has a hood on it now depending on your itinerary you might need a raincoat i'll insert a photo so you can see what it looks like on but what i loved about this raincoat is it is available in a lot of different colors so while you can often find a raincoat that's in black or maybe in gray i found it hard to find a raincoat that was like a color and i wanted to feel well a little bit brighter even on rainy days so i love this raincoat and of course the best part was it was a really good quality so super lightweight so i could layer uh, whether it's a t-shirt or a sweater i could put that underneath so i really like this and of course it didn't well let the rain through and that was the most important part now, if you're doing long days in port, if you have long excursions, you're probably going to want to have a portable charger. And to be honest, I think it's something that we should all do. We should keep our phones charged at all times, especially you never know, you could lose electricity. There could be a reason you can't charge your phone. You want to have your phone charged. So I would even keep my portable charger charged at all times. Now, this one in particular, people have commented and said it is the very best portable charger ever it charges quickly and it stays charged it really just uses a little bit even when you are charging a phone so personally i think this one is just an absolute must-have now if you like to keep things organized and maybe you even want to keep this in your carry-on bag this electronics case is also super handy so you can keep your charger your wires everything all organized in one place now something that's considered one of the top cruise essentials that personally i haven't used before but i think i will bring it on my next cruise is this tote bag now this is actually from cruise on and they sent me this well back even probably a couple of years ago which was super nice of them but at the time i just didn't really think that i had a need for it and i didn't bring it however what i realized on my last cruise is that in a lot of the ports now when you buy items well they don't have bags for them anymore it's getting harder and harder to find a bag so i think it is a really good idea to bring a tote bag and what i like about this one is it folds up very very small it's super lightweight so no wonder it is really one of the most popular cruise essentials now something that i did use on my last cruise and i can recommend is this lightweight backpack now what i really liked about this is while it looks pretty small and it folds up to next to nothing so even if you're not using it the whole cruise but you only use it for excursions this is just fine but we found sometimes we had our sweatshirts that we were wearing in the morning but by the afternoon we would take off our sweatshirts and we needed a place to put them other times we had snacks water bottles so just a few things that we needed to keep with us and if you're not going to a beach you probably don't want a beach bag but you want a backpack that you can carry right on your back 
Now, if you've watched any of my videos or any videos about packing for a cruise, then you know that having cowl clips, well, that is really handy because on a cruise ship, it gets very, very breezy and you wanna be able to hold your towels down. So these personally are the ones that I recommend. I find they're a very good quality. Now I will show you, I do have these as well. I used to actually, I think I bought these a few years ago and I bought 16. I now have three of these left. So they're just not as good a quality as these. So I think if you do just want like a couple of sets, personally, I would just spring for these. I think they are a better quality and they will stand the test of time. Now, by the way, if you're trying to pack light for a cruise or even if you're trying to pack carry-on only, you can definitely bring some towel bands instead of bringing some towel clips. Now, even though I love towel clips, our next cruise, we're actually going to be flying to the cruise port. So I'm gonna have to be more intentional and pack a little bit lighter and maybe even carry on only. I'm not sure if I might challenge myself to that, but anyway, I'm gonna have a video coming out soon all about packing carry on only, packing light. So make sure you do watch for that and we'll see how I do. Now, something that we now bring on every cruise is the waterproof phone case. So of course you wanna make sure that your phone, if you are somewhere like a beach or something like that, that it is basically kept away from the water and the sand. So this is really handy. And at the same time, it's still touch sensitive. So you can actually still take all of your photos and that kind of thing. But I did wanna show you something else. This is new, it's been actually highly recommended. So, so far everybody that has used this has said it's worked really well. And this is basically a pouch that you can wear around your waist that is waterproof. So if you're going on a snorkeling excursion or even more, if you're going to a beach and you are going to be snorkeling right off the beach and you just wanna keep all of your items safe, then you'll probably want to bring this. Now I got this beach bag. It's gotta be about probably five or six years ago and it genuinely is the very best beach bag that I have ever found. It's really, really roomy. So it can fit those big beach towels that you get on the cruise ship. Well, it can fit them all in your water bottles and everything. So of course I bring this on every Caribbean cruise. Now it's a good idea to be prepared with a little bit of a mini first aid kit. So some of those things should include as well, things that you might need in case you do get any motion sickness. Now we bring boning. We just personally really like this one. And you know, sea bands are really handy too because these could be great even for shore excursions. You can wear them right on your wrist. They work with a pressure point. So that's a natural way to basically keep the motion sickness at bay. Now this is sort of a travel laundry kit. So you've got your downy wrinkle release. So on a cruise, you're not gonna have irons to be able to use at least in your cabin. In some cases, you may have a laundry room that you can actually use an iron, but many cruise ships don't have this. So you'd have to send your items out to be pressed. That does get a little bit pricey. So instead you can use downy wrinkle release. That works really well. If you do think you're gonna wash any items, especially for long cruises, then you'll wanna bring a little bit of um, travel laundry detergent, so just a little package. And personally, I just find that tied to go, I bring this with me everywhere. It's just always in my purse or my tote bag. So I definitely bring this on a cruise as well. Now I've got a few more of the top cruise accessories, and then I will share with you a couple of really great bonus items. Now poopery, just to let you know, the idea of this bathroom spray is you're supposed to spray this like into the toilet before you go. However, in our experience, even if somebody forgets to spray it like before they go, which does sometimes happen, if you spray this in the toilet after they go, this actually still works to basically take those smells away in the small cruise cabin bathroom. Now, if you've never used water shoes before, you may not realize how amazing they are. Once you use them, you really wanna always have them. But whether you're going on a Caribbean cruise and maybe you're going to one of the cruise's private islands, sometimes they have little rocks at the bottom, they've got a little bit of seaweed, so that's really handy. Or you're doing an excursion where you're maybe climbing on some rocks. That happened to us when we were in Tortola and we went to Virgin Gorda. It also can be if you're going to Jamaica and you're climbing Dunn's River Falls. So that is very handy. And of course I keep that in this handy shoe bag. Now I have my toothbrush covers that now whenever I travel, I always make sure that I do cover our toothbrushes. Binoculars. Now, if you're going on an Alaskan cruise, they really are a must have. However, for any itinerary, we can see wildlife when we're on a cruise. So these can be really handy. And I have a little bit of a tip to share that somebody shared with me. And this is that you should actually consider buying two 
pairs of binoculars. A lot of people say it's hard to share when you do see whales, then only one person maybe has the binoculars. So they said instead, buy two, make sure that you hang them up on those magnet hooks right near the balcony door. Okay, so now I have a couple of bonuses that are not actually cruise essentials, but people have asked me about recently. One of them is the dress that I am wearing now. I'll show a picture of it when I was on a cruise, but I got this on Amazon. It was really inexpensive and I think it could really work well if you want to dress with sleeves if you want to wear it whether it's on a formal night but you just want to kind of not be super dressed up or if you want to wear it on an evening chic or an elegant night personally I think it works well and the best part is it's comfortable it's flattering it's got like that faux wrap style and it doesn't need any ironing. It really, it's just such an easy material that it will stay wrinkle free. And the other one is my necklace. I actually got it on Amazon. It's very simple, but personally, I really like it. So I did get it on Amazon. I will link it down below in the description of this video. Now I'm also gonna leave the information all about the Ultimate Cruise Planner. So of course you're gonna have cruise packing lists, but you'll also have a cruise outfit planner and more. I'll leave all of the information linked below in the description of this video in case you do wanna check that out. Now I'd really like to hear from you. What are the cruise essentials that you love and you use that have really made the biggest difference for your cruise? And are there any items that I haven't included in this video? Please let me know in the comments below this video. Now I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.